NorthTexasFisticuffs.com rolling recap. We make our way to none other than Octagon MMA. Let me give you this address if you have any desire to find out what it's all about in the MMA world, the striking world, the defense world, the boxing world. You can find it at 4152 Cole Avenue, suite number 104. That's in the heart of Uptown in downtown. Oh, did I say that right? Dallas, Texas. How about that? We'll get it right. But it's right off the corner of Fitzhugh and Cole. You stay tuned as we get the shark of fighters who will be competing in the shark fights. Number 17 in Frisco, Dr. Pepper Center here on July the 15th. Stay tuned. We're making our way. Our travels now find us at the Octagon MMA. We're at 4152 Cole Avenue. We're at suite number 104. Look over to my right, ladies and gentlemen. I've got the proud for it privilege. I've got the honor. I've got the presence. He's with me right now, none other than Russell Brewer. Russ, let me shake that hand, baby. Okay, baby, tell me, what's going on? How you feeling right now? I feel good, man. Training's going good and uh, just ready to get in the cage now. Well, today is July the 6th, if I'm correct. The only reason I give that date, you're going to be making some noise on the 15th of July. You're going to be climbing in. Everybody knows this about me. I know you didn't know this, but I had a good dealing, a good hand as an ex-fire chief in being part of the higher process of Mr. Brad Cox, the one you're going to be climbing the cage with. What do you think about that, talking to someone who knows Brad a little close? Well, uh, I know I know Brad's a, he's a good guy, so I won't hold it against you. So uh, That's good. That's good. That's good. I'll tell you, I, let me ask you a couple of questions right now, Russell. We're, we want to cross. Cr cr you know, I'm all so excited. You saw me walk in today. We're going to climb into your heart today. Just a little bit of information. Tell me, you a single man, married man? I'm married. Got a wife and a three-year-old boy. Oh, I tell you what, right now in the middle of this, this is worth stopping our interview for this question. How about a little shout-out to them? I uh, love you, Angela, <laughs> Carson. Love you guys. <laughs> okay, baby. Okay, let's get down to the fight, fight fan information, Russell. You're two and zero. Oh. You know no defeat. You have one of the herald knockouts of all time. I'm going to use the word all time. I'm going to say that. On <laughs> that what? That'll work. <laughs> okay. On YouTube, if we do a Russ Brew search, what are we going to find? You're going to find the uh, five second KO knockout. I'm going to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I turn my attention to you right now. If you fail to go to this YouTube search and find out what this man does, may God have mercy on you. I'm going to tell you that right now because I told you. Get over there and look at what this man does. Let's go ahead. Let me ask you a question. On that five-second knockout, just give me your little take on it. Uh, well, it was it was real quick, man. It was uh, something my coach helped me come up with at the beginning, and uh, it just happened, and then I got a lot of recognition for it. And so, uh, you know, all glory goes to God, so. Well, I got to tell you, I just got through uh, viewing it and witnessing it, and it's an awesome, awesome knockout. Your second knockout comes a rear naked choke in the first round. At, at, at what time of the first round was that one? Uh, the second fight was two minutes in. I uh, was able to get the guys back and get a choke in. Well, I'm going to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, right now we are on a Wednesday morning. Today is Wednesday morning. Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay, and it's about 11 o'clock right now. We're over here at the Octagon, and things are already flying over here, elbows, knees. i got a feeling there's some probably ankle locks here could probably get caught up in, or maybe even some knee bars. What else is out here? Maybe some arm bars, right? Yeah, it's all it's all going on out here. Oh. Okay, well, let's go and get down to the fight fan. You're going to be on. You're going you're to be in the cage July the 15th. I'm making sure I've got this. Shark fights. It's going to be in Frisco. Again, I want to say it again, ladies and gentlemen, July the 15th. Right now, it's going to be at the Dr. Pepper Center. This man is going to be climbing in the cage with Brad Cox. They're going to be making weight at 180. Let me ask you, what has the camp been, been so far for you? Uh, it's been tough. You know, we, uh, we just got done fighting about a month ago. Um, and then uh, started getting right on, uh, working out on this fight. Um, it's a little bit easier because normally I fight at 170, so I don't have to do a whole lot of dieting. So my cardio has been really good, and uh, my training has been really good. I haven't really been tired. So uh, it's, 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 uh, it's going good. It's going real good. Russ, what can we expect to see from you? A good ground game, striking game, good mood tie, or what, 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 what can you tell us? Well, um, I plan to stand up. You know, I plan to, to, to stand and bang and, and um, use my hands a little bit. Uh, that's what I'm good at. So uh, so that's what I'm going to go in there with. Okay, I'm going to ask uh, you to uh, maybe send a message out maybe to, to Brad. You know, I, I don't know, to the fight fans. What, what would you like to tell the fight fans about this? What could they can expect from you? 
Well, Brad's a great fighter. Um, he had, he won both of his amateur fights and both of his pro fights so far. Um, so I know it's going to be a tough. So you 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 definitely don't want to uh, to skip out on this one. Make sure you get there early. Make sure you watch this one. This one's going to be real good. So. Oh, I love it when they talk like this. Be sure you're there because I got a feeling this man right here going to be a repertoire of assault weapons. As we bring this to a close, one final word on your behalf. I'm going to let you close this up with any special shout-outs to anybody. Uh, we just shout-out to my, my coach, Safe Saad, my manager, Brad Barnes, um, uh, all my sponsors. I can't thank any of them right now on the spot, but uh, uh, shout-out to all them and then my family and friends that are going to be there supporting me. We love you guys, and God bless. I'm going to tell you, Russ Brewer, let me shake your hand one more time, sir, because I got a feeling I'm going to be shaking his hand. He's going to be making a lot of noise in the cage. As we bring this one to a closure, it's always, always a proud moment on my behalf to hug these guys, put my arms around them, and see the men that bring me the shot of adrenaline every time. On behalf of www.NorthTexasFisticos.com, it's been my pleasure, pleasure, uh, I can't even say that, my pleasure, and a salute to the man behind the camera, Sean Malone, until our next Rollins Recap. You stay tuned. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I've got another warrior here. I tell you what, I've already met this young man, and in meeting him, the subtleness in his tone. It's almost like the calm before the storm. I've got to tell you, I've got Matt Hobar here. Matt, let me shake your hand, baby. I, tell you, I walked in, and I saw Sean already talking to you. I got a little bit of information. You're at 2-0. You have really already rocked the cage at a level that I'm going to tell you. One submission and one KO. Man, tell me something about Matt and what possesses him to perform at that level. Well, uh, I've been a wrestler ever since I was four years old. I was a two-time state champion in high school. I was a double All-American. I was a uh, Greco All-American, freestyle All-American in high school. And uh, I got a lot of letters to uh, wrestle in college, but I, I was really burnt out on the scene. I was really tired of it. I wanted to do uh, something new, so I started jujitsu, and, and you know I, that was just my new love. And then that's what got me into MMA. Well, you know, I'm sitting here looking. You're, are you? You are scheduled to be on the on our our. Uh, uh, out here the shark fights is that not correct yes that's correct and that is also as i've already said it repeatedly this is going to be on july the 15th it's going to be shark fights number 17 in frisco at the dr pepper center who are you up against i'm up against jay flores and uh queen has fought him at xko so uh i know he's a striker i know he's going to come out trying to box me and uh you know, I'll be ready for that because I've been working on my striking a lot. And, and if he wants to do that, then uh, I'll be glad to do that. And I'll do that for a little bit and then take him down and finish him there. Okay, Matt. Now, let me ask you, what are you going to be making weight at? I'll be making weight at 145. Well, they've got a 145ers. Quain's also making 145. How about a little shout-out to anybody that you might want to just thank for either getting you here or some people that are special in your heart? Yes, I would like to thank uh, my dad and mom, Craig and Robin Hobar. They've... Uh, Supported my journey and, uh, you know, really believed in me. So that's something I uh, really needed and, uh, you know, it helps boost my confidence. I would also like to thank uh, my sponsors, Nutra Shop and uh, South Paul's Organic Cafe, as well as, uh, last but not least, my, uh, the man upstairs, God. Well, that's sweet. That's sweet. I tell you, I'm going to shake your hand right here. And all of us from North Texas Fisticuffs, we wish you the best. We ask you to be careful in there, but bring us the action that we all want. Now, as we close up another interview, I can only tell you the savvy of these young men, the hearts of lions that they possess is what I hunger and thirst for and what we all search for. Be there. July the 15th, Shark Fikes number 17. Until our next one, Roland Gomez.